What is going on guys, Predator Fall for Vecha, and welcome back to my channel. And today I thought we'd do something a little bit different. Uh, we'd head back into a set of Corsa and look at a new mod that has just uh, become available. And the mod in itself is also something a little bit different and something a little bit crazy. As you can see on the screen, it is the Ferrari F80 concept. Uh, now this is a a concept design done by a Ferrari fan, I believe. Uh, nothing to do with the actual company, just about sort of, you know, what the successor to the La Ferrari uh, could be like. So let's have a quick look um, at some of the, like, the stats that they provide. And uh, we'll quickly go into the showroom and just look at how beautiful this thing is. So according to the spec sheet, it weighs 800 kilograms, has 900 horsepower, 900 torques, or 900 newton meters if you want to be... <laughs> Uh, accurate top speed of 500 which is rubbish uh, if you go and look at the gearing it's only geared to 700 not to 100 of 2.2 seconds and a power to weight ratio of 0.88 kilograms per brake horsepower so let's quickly hop into the showroom and you guys can actually have a quick look at the car and isn't this quite an amazing looking thing now this mod is uh this is the first version that has been released to the public. So there's no interior, as you can see, I mean, the glass is blacked out. There's no no interior at the moment. The physics, the force feedback, everything's still a work in progress. Uh, but it is quite a spectacular looking machine. So let's hop out of the showroom and we'll take this uh, insane car to the most insane track in the game. We'll take it to the Neutschleifer. So let me load that up and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so welcome to the F80 concept at the Nordschleife. I just thought before we get going, I'd just quickly show you through the setup of the car and what you can change and what you can't. As you can see, I've increased the force feedback a bit. Gear ratios are non-adjustable with the maximum, the final gear ratio set for 404 kilometers an hour. You only get semi-slicks, load the front tire temperatures a little bit, 30 liters of fuel and alignment. That's all you can do, so uh, not a whole lot. And as you can see, no cockpit view, which is a bit unfortunate. But anyways, let's get this thing on the move and see what we can do. Now, it is currently using the uh, in-game LaFerrari sounds. They haven't done their own uh, engine sounds yet, but I think they will at some point. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to use. And, whoop, cars sliding all over the place, understeering and all sorts of things. Um, so, yeah, you've currently got the LaFerrari sounds. So, I mean, if you like those, you'll be happy. I'm not a huge fan of them in-game, especially when you uh, gear down. I always thought it should sound a bit more brutal, but anyways. Um, if you look on the... Uh, right hand side of my gear indicator you can see a green bar that's depleting at the moment so this uh, does have a curve system no doubt similar to uh, La Ferrari's a little bit of oversteer here <laughs> not a corner you want to be sliding um, you do also have DRS I believe which you can see by that blue oh god I don't know well that's no that blue thing is the the blue bar is the charging for the battery I believe um, but it's also got a little red bar on the left hand side. So this thing has some form of small low boost turbo, I guess. Um, so yeah, it's stupidly fast <laughs> and stupidly good fun. Um, doesn't like bumps very much. As you can see, it's um, jumping all over the place on some of these higher speed bumpy sections. Um, and we went a little bit too fast, I couldn't, didn't want to lock the wheels there, so I didn't get on the brakes hard enough. Um, but as I said, this is the first release of this uh, mod for Assetto Corsa. So, I mean, there are still some issues, obviously, which is to be expected. Um, and, oh, I lost, uh, locked the rear wheels there, whoopsie. Um, Uh, the, the force feedback is a little bit light. Um, I mean, you feel the bumps, but you don't get, you don't really feel like you're connected to the front wheels that much. Uh, the lack of an interior is a slight bother. 
specific, especially since I've gotten so used to driving um, so all my cars in the center course are from the cockpit. It's a little bit disconcerting, feels a little bit unusual to have to drive from this view now. Oh, and a little bit of oversteer there. Um, but overall, it's just a, it's really fun to drive this car, I must say. Uh, it's very challenging over bumpy stuff. Uh, the If you even consider driving this thing on a track with anything lower than optimal track settings, um, you're going to have your hands full because, well, a little bit of oversteer as we run over the curb there with our rear wheel. Um, you, you need optimal track settings to be able to control this beast. Um, but I mean, it, it's a stupid amount of fun. It really is, and I think it looks amazing. And yeah, you can see, I mean, uh, my steering wheel is bouncing around in my hands. I'm really having to try and fight to keep it uh, under control. And uh, so the bumpy stuff, it doesn't like too much. Uh, but it's got amazing downforce. I will say that you can really, really abuse this car or, or take massive liberties with it through the higher speed uh, corners. Not so much for slow speed stuff. And that is one thing I don't really like about this car. Uh, is the slow speed corners. It's the front end just always feels like it wants to wash wide. Um, even more so than uh, the LaFerrari ever did. Uh, so you do kind of have to keep that in mind. Uh, maybe it's just, you know, with better force feedback that would be less of an issue. Maybe. Um, but, you know, you go through corners and you think, oh, this thing should be able to go through at this speed and the, the, the front end just feels like it always wants to push wide. So hopefully that's something that uh, they change a little bit, give it a bit more front end uh, mechanical grip. But, I mean, when you're going through the faster, <laughs> faster corners, you can really just hang on in there. Whoa. And uh, the front end just bites. Uh, back end, not so much. You can <laughs> oversteer a bit, even in the faster stuff. And this thing is very, very powerful. As I said, 900 horsepower uh, and 900 newton meters of torque. If the um, stacked technical specs of the car are to be believed. But, I mean, I drove this car and I was just like, no, I've got to do a video on this thing, like, now. My wheel is set up. <laughs> Let me just do it now, because it's a lot of fun. Uh, you've got to concentrate. It's not easy to drive. Um, I mean, you've already seen me lock the rear wheels under braking. Uh, and I'm obviously doing this in a slight bit of oversteer again there under braking. Uh, obviously, I'm doing this... Uh, ABS off, traction control off, stability control off, no assists whatsoever, because this is fun air. We've got a bit of oversteer there, <laughs> 200 kilometers an hour or so. But now we're onto the big main straight, whatever this thing's called, and you can see we're bouncing all over the place. And every single one of those bumps and bounces is coming through my wheels, so I'm having to really hold on. Um, this is not a hands-free car down the straight. And we're doing 327 up the hill, going to be able to change into 7th soon and hopefully we don't screw up this final little section it's going to 7, 330, I'm going to start braking now rather lose a bit of time than lose a lot of time with an off and we managed to get through there quite well and over the start finish straight we do a 6 minute 29.1 so not bad at all so <laughs> you can see this thing is is uh, ridiculously fast um, but yeah so very fast very fun fun excuse me and oh we messed that up we get up a little bit on the grass uh, but uh, just wanted to do one lap in this thing to show you guys so that is it for this video fairly short look at the F80 concept um, link will be in the, the description down below to the uh, forum, the Assetto Corsa forum where you can find this car with the download link on, on the opening page in the opening post. Uh, so if this has looked like fun, by all means go and get it. As you can see we're way, way faster. 
uh, yes, like, so you see, I mean, I barely had to lift off there. We went through there 250 k's an hour. So, obviously, I'm sure this is stupidly unrealistic, but, you know, it's a concept car doesn't exist. It's just, it's just fun. Um, well, a bit of oversteer through there. But anyways, I think that is about it for this video. If you enjoyed, please feel free to hit the thumbs up button down below and maybe consider subscribing uh, for occasional, instead of course, content, as well as World of Warships and War Thunder. Uh, also, be sure to check the description link down below for links to my Facebook and my Twitter pages, and you guys can follow me there as well, if you so desire. But anyways, that is it from me. Thank you very much for stopping by, and we completely cocked that up. <laughs> This is Predator 458 signing off, and I'll see you guys next time.